Hey guys, Justin with Landscaping Entrepreneur. Uh, today is Wednesday, May 3rd. I'm just heading in. Got some new Velcro on my windshield mount, which is pretty sweet. But uh, anyway, yesterday was a bit of a crazy, stressful day. <clears throat> um, there's a girl that's been working for us for a while, and she's a gardener. And she's got a lot of really good quality. She does great work. Customers are really happy with her. But she's also got some downfalls, and um, she, she very rarely doesn't come on time. She's unreliable. Um, she always has excuses for things. She doesn't really follow the systems we've created for certain things, tries to do things her own way, so it makes things difficult. And it was a really tough decision, but um, we let her go yesterday, and that was not fun. You know, she stormed out. Another complication is that her boyfriend also works with us. You know, we knew that might be complicated. As of right now, he's still working because they have to. But, you know, that's never fun. Uh, I let my, uh, so I have, you know, Omar who manages a lot of the crews, a lot of the guys. I, I was there with him for the firing, but ultimately it was his decision. And I might have instead given her a week suspension, something like that. But Omar was just tired of her, so I had to let him make the decision. I had to let go in order to move forward as a company. So uh, right after that, and Chris, one of our guys that's been with us forever, um, I don't know if he was upset about Kate, about that girl getting fired, if he even knew about that, because he, he was really, really upset, but he, um, he was yelling at Omar about pesticides because he thought that Omar wasn't following these rules about him and was being unsafe, which was a legitimate concern, but he was just flipping out and yelling at him in front of the, you know, the whole crew that was there, and it was just a terrible look. So, again, um, Although I have a temptation to step in because, you know, he was using pesticides incorrectly and also that Chris didn't handle the situation properly, I want to let Omar do his thing. Um, Omar wants to give him a week suspension, which I thought is pretty rough, um, but again, I'm going to let him make his own decision. So uh, outside of that, the small engine repair thing is starting to come together. Um, we got some nice weather. Grass is growing pretty crazy. I got to uh, remind the guys on Monday to uh, that we have a policy for grass over six inches um, that it's done hourly if it's over six inches in any visit, which I'm sure some of the, some of them are right now. Um, that just ensures that we make money. You know, if someone calls us in the middle of the season and they want the grass cut for the first time, we quote them by the square footage, it, it gives us assurance that it's not going to be two feet tall when we get there. Same with people who are on bi-weekly mowing, it assures us that we get our charge rates. We do have that, that text in there. Um, in order to do it, though, we need the guys to relay to us, which they all have a measuring tape on their key ring where they can measure the height of the grass, and they take pictures with the app, and um, that allows us to see the grass is over six inches. So that's what we've got going on today, and I'll catch up with you guys later this week.